What's up guys, it's the Halloween Hunters here, and I just wanted to make a quick little video showing my shelf of Disneyland Haunted Mansion memorabilia from Disneyland in California. So, some of them have kind of crazy stories, which is why I thought about making the video. Um, some of it is just the basic stuff. Some of it is the, you had to get there quick, and some is pass holder only. So, I will guess I'll just start down here. Um, we have a pass holder exclusive 50th anniversary serving tray that I got. Um, that's pretty cool. It has like a bat shape and stuff. Nothing crazy, but I had some extra money, so my dumbass bought it. But it's it's cool. Um, we got the little haunted Beware mansion. Of yeah, hiking ghosts. <laughs> Uh, they came out with this, and then shortly after, they released another one, which is exactly the same, except it says um, 50th anniversary on it. So this was the one that came out right before that. Uh, we have each color mug they've released so far. We have the, the green, the red, and the purple, and their corresponding lights are inside. Actually, I have one of the lights over here, but the other, the red and the purple light are inside. So this is the little ice cube. They're $5 at, uh, in New Orleans Square, where you can get uh, your mint and julep with one of these. I forgot where else you could get them. We got both Oogie Boogie buckets. This was the first year's. This was the next year's. Um, we have both California cauldron popcorn buckets. This was the first year's, which is awesome. My black and green is my favorite color combo. Then they came out with the black and purple. And in Florida, they had a black and orange, which I hope Disney in California will get this coming year, 2020. Um, we got the Oogie Boogie light ice cube um, dice. That came with some kind of alcoholic beverage in California Adventures. Thought those were cool, so I bought that drink to get those. Um, some pins. Nothing crazy. Um, we have the Hatbox Ghost hat. We've got my Doom Buggy license plate. Before the Tower of Terror closed, I ended up buying the hat. Um, this tiki mug I have a story for. I love that tiki mug. I think it looks awesome. Um, what happened was they released this tiki mug in Florida first. And the one in Florida had his face in the hat box and then no face up here. Like it was switched. And then in... California Disney we got this version which I think is cooler um, this is the first edition so basically it seems like for the most part the stuff comes out in Florida first so we see it there and then we're like okay Disneyland's gonna get it or a, a similar version so then a couple days later they announced they were gonna release this at Disneyland at Trader Sam's and I wanted to go so I they said they were gonna open Trader Sam's at 11 or no, 10, nine? I forgot when they said they were gonna open. Anyways, I got to Disneyland at like 3.30 a.m. And I still wasn't even close to the front of the line. There were people lining up that night before and 12 midnight, one, two in the morning. I was not planning to actually go originally. I was bored. And I couldn't sleep. I slept a couple hours and I woke up at like 3 a.m. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. What else am I going to do? Just sleep? So I jumped in my car and I got to Disneyland. Normally, from my house, it takes about an hour. I got there in like 20 minutes because there was zero traffic on the freeway. So it was crazy. There was maybe two other cars. I There was no traffic on the way there at 3 a.m. So... I got there 
they were having lots of problems if you were there this day with their registers they were supposed to have three registers only one i think was working and the line was huge with thousands of people in line um i saw adam the woo there that day so that was cool um while i'm in line waiting for this thing listening to my music you know i had school that day i missed class i got there around 3 45 in the morning and i didn't purchase this until 11. so that's a full work day of just sitting and waiting in line to get this mug. So pretty ridiculous. Um, got the 25th, that's for Indiana Jones. I uh, got this cool clock that they sell for Christmas one year. A little ornament of the Hatbox Ghost. I got the 50th anniversary years. Um, these guys are really cool, I love these popcorn buckets it's like a drink or what they call a sipper at Disneyland popcorn bucket and the beignet holder I think they're all turned off but anyways these came out unexpectedly at Disney Disney didn't release that these um these buckets here they just boom they opened up the gates we have these so it was crazy so my sister is a Disney Instagrammer and has some Disney Instagram friends that were there. And so they got the whole set and they were selling for stupid money on eBay. Like everything from Disney does the day it comes out. Um, now they're not that much, but basically I saw these and I was like, I need to get a set. This is so cool. So the next morning, my friend spent the night. We got to Disneyland at Rope Drop. We ran in and waited in line to get these. It was me, my friend, and my sister. So we stood in each individual line. Uh, we got the beignet one first because they opened up right at 8 a.m. at rope drop. But popcorn doesn't open until 10. And the sipper was at a restaurant that opened at 9. So that kind of sucked. So basically, this one is like, you know, the coolest one. I think it's Phineas um because it says 50th anniversary this is the one that makes the sound the, the music the other two are just lights basically we got we left my house at like six in the morning to get to disney at rope drop because there's tons of uh traffic westbound we get there da 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 we're in line we get this one i'm in line for this one and then after waiting in line for like three hours uh, cast members are coming over and they're telling us that they're not going to get any more of these for at least another like three, four hours. I had work at 12, so I got to drive all the way back home, which is like an hour. But we got this one. So I got two of the three. Now, it sounds dumb now because they ended up selling these for like the whole year. So all this work was basically for nothing. I could have just waited and got them. But with Disney, you never know. Sometimes they come out with something and they sell it for the whole year or more than that. Sometimes they come out with something and it and it's selling, they have it for a month and it's gone. So you just never know with Disney. Um, so I was like, I need to get one more for the set, you know? So basically, I got these two. Me and my friend, my sister, we rush to the car. I fly home. Actually, I didn't even get to go home. I flew straight to work. Um, where they dropped me off. I worked my whole shift and I checked my phone just randomly and I was like, you know what? Disneyland doesn't close till midnight. So I was like, let, I called my friend. I said, you down to go back. Maybe they have these in stock now because they just weren't going to get them in the morning. They said they weren't going to get them till 1, 2 p.m. So my friend's like, yeah, I'm down. Screw it. We're already in this deep. We got two of them. We need the one more. So right after work, my friend picks me up at work. I'm off at 8.30. We jump in the car get to Disneyland, and they had them in stock. We got there during parade and fireworks, so you know how that is if you go to California Disney, that getting from the main gate to the Haunted Mansion during fireworks and parade is hell, trying to get over there. But we got it, hooray. I had all three, I was super happy. The only thing is they still sold these for a very long time, so really, I didn't need to put in all that work. 
but cool little story. And then I have this little poster here. And you can't really see. Hard to see the signature, but it's signed by two people. Um, honestly, I feel bad for not knowing, but I don't even know her name, but it's the voice actress for the bride, Constance, in the Haunted Mansion. And I had her sign it and she put, I do, I did, inscription. And then down there somewhere else, I have Bob Gurr. His autograph is on there too. And then the only other couple things I have are the Haunted Mansion host of ghost jars. I got Constance Hatchaway and the Hatbox Ghost when they went on sale. That's about it. Um, some other cool stuff. But that's it for this video, guys. I know it wasn't quick because I was telling my stories. But that is my Disney Haunted Mansion collection. There's some other little things like Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean stuff scattered in there, but I'm all out of room on this shelf, and you know, who knows what's going to come out in 2020. They're probably going to give California the orange cauldron bucket, I'm assuming. And we might even get an orange mug, who knows. Um, they like to do it. I mean, the cauldrons are awesome. I would love to get the orange one in California. So that's it. That's my little Disney Haunted Mansion collection. It's nothing crazy. But it is cool, and some of them have some stories of having to go get them. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll try to make some other cool videos shortly.